Excuse me. Excuse me, please. <laughs> there there was once um you know uh, uh admiring each other man you know knowing that each other was in the game at one point in time doing what we does cuz now anybody's past is nobody's fucking you pay attention to no man behind the fucking curtain it's not none of my business it's not none of his business that's how the get down is you know for the people trying to throw out their hey, you disrespect your kids you just come on man open your fucking eyes and clean your lentis that never would happen that's not the get down at one point in time yes I did say some frivolous words directly to Flacco and let him know exactly what it was. And at points in time, he did the same thing with me. I'll accept it, or will I? One never knows does one. One thing I know for sure is lately there's been a call out. You know, Flacco's talking about he wants to fight me in a boxing match. Not on some real street shit. It's not that serious. But in a boxing match. You know, something that we can get in the ring and handle our business like grown men do, and then bounce to the outs on it. You know, you go your way, I go my way. Uh, one thing I will say is this. I said, oh, is that right? I said, arr, arr. hello, check it out, homie, right? We got at each other um, because I felt that's what men do behind the scenes, not in public, not so everyone can boast and brag and sing and sag and do what they want to fucking do. No, on some real life shit. I said, is that the right you really want to take it, bro? He said, yeah, that's the right I want to take it. I said, okay, that's cool. Give me a, a, a minute to, I'm, I'm discombobulated here because I don't understand, you know, what exactly you're entailing and what exactly you want. But after he told me, I said, I respect it as a man. And I'm going to go ahead and give you my decision. Right? And that's exactly what I'm doing right here. Um, you know, a lot of people want to see me fight everyone. It's always gutter this and gutter that. Gutter fight everyone. Hey, you! Get off that mountain. When you're on the top of the mountain, man, and you're doing what you does in this YouTube shit, and you made a career of this, and you're, and you're really pushing that narrative, man, that you've been trying to push, and people are accepting and feeling it and rocking with you, you know, there's a lot of people that are trying to knock you up off that mountain. I'm not saying that Flock Wiz. He's got his own agenda, his own lane. Let him do his own thing. I'm doing my own thing. Um... But there seems to be a lot of people that are pushing for, you know, hey, you're not the voice of the people, you're not for the people, by the people, you're not, you're, you're just a guard, a whole, man, handle this shit. And can get these waters and remove them up out the stuff, because I don't need that in my life, you know what I mean? Or I'll do it for you. Anyways, um, a lot of people have been pushing for this fight, man. And, you know, when the people cry out for sangre, you must give them sangre. When the people cry out uh, for war, there must be get up. When the people cry out for a little red on red, hey, Shit, I ain't never passed up a little red on red on my life. It, 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 to me, it, it, okay, no, never mind, you know? It is what it is. But in this case right here, I'm gonna have to say, um, if I decline, how would that make me look? Like some poop butt? Like some punk? Like some idiot, man, that, that, that just talks all that high power shit but doesn't back his play? You know, one thing I will say for Shelby though, I said for Shelby, Shelby though, is I definitely um, stand firm in my, uh, on my stance that I never disrespected this man. Hey, Gunner, what's up with uh, Triple OG? Um, being dis disrespectful he's not disrespectful to me bro you know this is the way i feel east side locals to each their own you know when i was being disrespected um before me and him man had a, a, a you know a talk a conversation it wasn't no one caring about that bro it was all good in the hood to disrespect the gunner put addresses out there talk all kinds of shit right it's all good in the hood man that was fine that was fine and dandy i took it on the chain because i come here to win right um, at the same time, other people were getting along with them, like, oh, it's good, man, as long as you ain't talking about me. And then all of a sudden, when the roles reverse, it's like, what about me? Bitch, no one cares about you. It's straight up, and in that fashion, that's how I feel. You know what I mean? What about me? You know? I took it like a man does, man, on the chin and just kept it pushing. Never once did I report Triple OG's channel. Never once did I fucking tell on anybody. Never once did I do anything. Now, I ain't gonna lie, man. 
people that did, I ain't knocking them, I ain't hating on them, man. Those are my boys, man. Some of my boys was like, man, fuck this, right? They're feeling however they're feeling. But I will say, man, when motherfuckers is like, well, what about me, man? What about you, bro? Be a man. Hey, what a man than him. You know what I mean? All I know is me and Triple OG are good in the hood, man. Regardless of what all the haters say. Hey, man, Flacco, they told you this, man. You know what I mean? Come on, now. Vatos ain't fucking said shit, but it work. A lot of individuals like to manipulate people because this is what they want. This is their end game. Friction. Friction and failure. But I'm a successful guy, Holmes. It's hard to break me when you hate me. It's hard to make me do something I don't really want to do. You know, if I sat here and heard all the voices and the people saying, fight them, fight them, fight them, then I would, uh, then would that mean fucking being conforming to what they want? So I'm here to say I can't give the people what they want all the time. Who do I look like uh, listening to everyone and, 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 and fucking being that poop butt man and being a follower instead of a leader? See, I'm a leader in this shit. And it doesn't matter what people think about me or how you feel about me. If you think I'm some punk or some sucker or you can't fight or this and that, go ahead and believe what you want to believe. Think you may. Go ahead and believe what you want to believe. You know, Flacco calls me out and people are like, catch the fade, catch the fade. Why? Because you want me to catch the fade? Because you want something to watch? You know? That, you know, I'd have to be a poop butt to listen there. But I decided, I made my decision on the situation, man. And I thought I'd bring it to the people because the people deserve the right to know exactly what's going down with the gun and how I came to this conclusion of what it is and why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, see, I've never been a follower. I've always been a leader in my game. My game plan, my end game plan, man, is to provide for my people. Rasa, brown people, what they want, what they need, man. What we need is a voice. Okay, what we need is a platform to be able to come together to voice our opinion, shout out our waters, let everyone know where we're from, man, our history, our cultura, all that. I've provided that from day one. I've always given the people exactly what they wanted, whether it be entertainment with comedy, you know, whether I be clowning and capping and having a good time and bringing you guys characters. I'm an innovator and this is not scary. The innovation is real. I do what I does just based on I know what the people like, I know what the people want because I am one of them people. This is something to dance to. I see eye to eye with Flock all the time? Fuck no. Right? Will I see eye to eye with him for going forward? One never knows does one. But one thing I do know for sure, that's facts when it comes to the gun. Um, is I ain't never backed down from nobody or nothing. You know, I ain't no poop butter, no pump, man. I just ain't no follower. So all you people that are out here screaming and hollering and just take the fade, don't end it in a friendly fade, end it. There's only one thing I have to say to that, you know? Um, because I know that's what you guys want, you guys think I'm some some punk and and you know, I feel like more like a punk if I, you know, if I was to do whatever everybody wanted, you know. But this one time, I accept the boxing match with Flacco. Bang, bang. There it is there. I accept the boxing match with Flacco. I ain't running. I ain't scared. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and disrespect this man and call him all types of chumps and punks and all that. Nah, we will handle our business like men in the ring. Details will be coming. I called him this morning, I said, I accept. He said, what, accept what? I said, the challenge. He said, what challenge? I said, no, not the, not the fucking who can eat more taco challenge. The motherfucking boxing challenge, he says, yes, indeed. So we're gonna write graffiti all over that ring. Um, as grown men, when you have discrepancies, when they're, we can't see eye to eye, when we can't conversate no more, um, like we used to, when there's some ill will and there's some feelings there that need to be handled, well, we're gonna do like what brown men do. And we're gonna fucking handle them in the ring, like grown men, and then walk away. Win or lose, lose or win. It is what it is. I know Flacco's a giant, but that kid David beat the hell out of him, right? I'm not tripping on that. There's no excuses here. Hey, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, right? Um, I'm not worried about it. I'm not intimidated. I'm definitely not scared. And I know he's not either. So we're going to get in that ring. And we're going to handle our business. And whatever happens, happens, and however it plays out. But one thing I know for sure, for all the hit and all you trolls that are whooping, look it, oh, we got what we wanted, we got what we wanted, or did you? One never knows does one, but what I do know, 100% facts for sure, is I'm pulling up. No, Tony, the clapper. I don't need no feria. See, everything that I make in this fight, I'm going to give to the people. I don't even want the money. If there's money to be made in this fight, I don't want it. Okay, I don't need it. I don't want it. I just want to go in there and handle my business like a man, show face, pull up and pull out, and that's it. Let's do this. Okay, rules and regulations to the fight, we'll let you guys know. When I figure that out, you'll figure it out. Is it gonna happen? Most definitely. Will we get in the ring? Most definitely. 